Hey folks, welcome to episode 6 of Caster of Magic. Alright. By the way, my name is Ben. I know some people li don't like it when I don't introduce myself. <laughs> so hello, yes, I'm Battle Mode. I'm the guy playing the game. And here's me down in the bottom bottom left of the corner. That's me, you see, in the corner, look. Ben. Um, so we were trying to take this nature node, I believe, in this last, in this last episode. Now, um, I made a mistake because... Well, I, I was kind of struggling a little bit because I didn't have anything that could take down the uh, the sprites. Now, what I'm going to do is, since we don't need these werewolves, I'm going to move the wolves up. Ah, okay, we can't get them in there. Let's move them out somewhere else then. Ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum. I think we might be okay with this amount of troops. Although, the sp I think I was saying before that sprites are kind of, they're kind of tricky. And they they do have a habit of being able to just take out all your units <laughs> just in one. So because they're very very powerful, they got really really. I mean, for an early game unit, they've got a very strong attack. But um, this lot should do it now. Hopefully, we are not going to lose any. Yeah, I don't think we'll lose anybody here. Um, I don't really have much in the way of spells that can protect me from sprites because they're using a magic attack so I'm just going to go in there and see what happens I'd like to clear this okay so they uh, they took out an archer and they took out my magicians which I just built which is not a problem uh, they are expendable okay there we go um, do you know what I might try I might just try to uh, get these as undead because I'm pretty sure we can resurrect the sprites as undead now do I dare shoot with these? Yeah, I do. Okay, we want more than half the damage now to be done. Okay, I think I've I think I've messed that one up, but we should have at least got one. There we go. So we've got one one unit of uh, undead sprites, and we found two hundred two gold, inside, which is not bad. Now let's get, make sure that the casting uh, the summoning circles here. There we go. So we just want to cast the magic spirit. There we go. Here he comes. And then the magic spirit is actually going to go into this node now. And he's going to take that node. Now, we actually want to leave um, We want to leave a garrison here. Yeah, let's start building some magicians in this, this hometown here. Um, I might just temporarily put, the, put the, were the werewolves in here just to guard against anything that might come in. Because as you saw in the last get in the last episode, you can just get attacked really, really quick. Let's use that money to build this smithy here, and we'll bring back we'll bring Southreach back online as quickly as possible. Um, now, if I remember right, I was moving these engineers. They were hoping to go towards Southreach. Okay, have a look where we're at. Okay, so. We've got Merlin in this part of the map, and we can see six cities. Um, we've got five here. Talron is to the north of us with three, and he's going to be our next target, I think. The alternative is we head towards these new, uh, the neutrals um, and try and take these. Now, this one is a orc village, which is perfect for us. Um, we've also got lizard. There's a lizardman village here too, and it's very small that one. Uh, although it might have changed in the meantime. But um, okay, and then in the top, in the northwest, we've got Tlaloc. Uh, he's also kind of we can we can actually head to him from the south uh, from the northeast to get here. I have to go across this sea because it wraps around you see. And there's also this big area that we've not explored, so um, I do need to do that pretty quick. In fact, I might actually just create another magic spirit while I'm while I'm at it. So let's go for the summoning circle. And then we'll we'll start creating uh, casting a magic spirit. Okay, we've got some population. We built the smithy in uh, South Reach, so... Uh, okay, right, what do we need to do to get these guys back on the line? We definitely need something to defend with, so let's start getting some more bowmen. There's, there's our magic spirit, and the magic spirit is just going to go this way. Oops. Make sure he's selected on his own. There we go. And we've got orc swordsmen as well. So we've got a bunch of swordsmen and, and a bunch of... Of archers here that's a decent enough garrison let's start building up from here onwards 
Granary is a good choice considering we've now we've got now got a fair sized army, at least in garrisons. Roll. Uh, we want these guys. We've got uh, another magician here. I think. What we're going to leave here? I might leave two archers. I might leave these sprites. Those sprites are actually pretty useful. Um, we need to leave a deep. We need to leave a garrison. So we'll just. I think I'll patrol those. Uh, and I'll use. I'll do the meld. Okay. So you'll see now that we've got this sparkling effect. This means that, it, you know, it's sparkling in my colours. Now that will actually give us extra. Um, I think it's our. It adds to our power base, if I remember right. Um, so we, that that's always it's always well worth getting these. You want to get them as quickly as possible. Now we've got two we've got two uh, heroes. I don't know if I need them both in one in one group. Let's have a look a closer look at Zaldron and just see what this sage character does. So we'll just click on these. We can have a look at his uh, his spells. So he's got dispelling wave. Attempts to remove all beneficial enemy spells from the targeted overland map square. Additionally, it can be used in combat to dispel all enemy unit enchantments. This is really useful. Um, Psionic Blast is a strength 18 illusion attack. Uh, Phantom Warriors, as you've seen, it creates Phantom Warriors, uh, which are um, a sort of glass cannon unit that can hit. They, they negate armor when they attack. Um, he's a sage, which means he contributes to spell research, which is awesome. We don't want this guy to die. And he's also a caster, so he can cast spells in battle. He's actually a pretty good, he's a pretty decent character, this one. Um, and Serena the Healer is kind of similar. She's also a caster. Um, but she's she's more on the healing side of things. Might keep them together. For the time being, I'm just going to put them... Oh, we can't quite get them back in here because we've got too many units. So what are we missing? Um, let's head towards here and see what we can see what's actually in this node. I don't think I've scouted it. Oh, many earth elementals. Yeah, um, earth elementals. I think I'm going to need magicians to deal with. That might be a job where I have to hit it with several waves. Excuse me. But um, I think that I would like to get this quite soon. Now, this one was. Few Nagas and many Phantom Warriors. Again, I think if we get... Uh, it might be useful just to hit this with some really cheap units, like a, a whole bunch of archers. So if I, I might just keep building some archers here um, in one of these buildings. And just if we, uh, these cheap bowmen, because the bowmen will be good for taking out those those Phantom Warriors. And I don't care if I lose them because they're just chaff. Um, so I might start moving... I'll just keep them together for now. I just wanted to remind myself, oh yeah, there was werewolves in here and there's a lot of them. Again, um, that will be best cleared with ranged units, um, preferably with something quite strong on the front. Now we could use our own werewolves and we could give them, fan, uh, what do you call it? Wraith form. So if we, we, if we had wraith form, not wait, wraith form, cloak of fear. That was the one. So, um, trying to think if werewolves will be immune to that. Actually, they've got death immunity. Death immunity negates most spells which cause death and fear. Okay, so uh, I don't know. I can't actually. I don't actually remember whether they will be affected by that ability that cloak of fear gives them. Oh well. I will figure it out later. Let's just patrol that. And we're going to move these guys over here. We do want to be getting more werewolves. I think if we if we really wanted to push against uh, Tauron now, or Tauron, um, a werewolf rush would be the way to go about it. So there's Dispel Magic. Um, we're really getting some fast research in now. Look, at these. you'll notice the turn times are significantly decreasing. Uh, what can we go for? They're all relatively close. Ah, so we got Night Stalker and Shadow Demons. That's great. Um, Shadow Demons, when I was f figuring out which one was going to be best at the start, 
uh, I think Shadow Demons might just pip Night Stalker. And the reason being is because they have regenerate, just like the werewolves. So um, that's a good one to go for as well. They're just really expensive to, to keep. Um, I'm kind of, I want to try Night Stalkers. I don't remember trying them. I certainly don't remember making them an essential part of my build. But being invisible and immune to weapons and with Death Gaze, I mean, that's pretty strong, right? They're going to be, uh, uh, against early game units, they're going to be really, really strong. So I'm tempted to try that. Siphon Life, uh, this attacks a target unit and gives it to the Spellcaster Hero. Um, units mostly destroyed by Siphon Life return as undead under the caster's control. Deals as much damage as the amount the target fails a resistance roll by at a minus 11 penalty. So this is quite a good spell too. I might just get a chant item in quickly. Ooh, surveyors find a coal deposit near the town of Southreach. That's good news. You'll notice how the AI also hasn't really picked up any of these, uh, any of the nodes around the uh, its areas. It's because they're often quite well guarded. Uh, we we were that one with the sprites. It kind of seemed, it seemed tough, but that wasn't that bad <laughs> compared to how they can be. Uh, yeah, I'm going to leave that wizard there. Now wizards, they're not that expensive to upkeep. Look, they they're just one one gold uh, one gold piece and one food. Um, wizards are really good. Now these guys are also casters, so we can actually ca they can actually cast spells as well in battle. Not just they don't just have the magic range attack. They can actually cast spells. So um, yeah, they're they're really I really like using wizards. The problem is they're just super squishy. They they die very very quickly unless you put the, unless you can get if you can buff them with certain spells. Okay, just keep those guys there. Um, I'll put the werewolves. This was uh, Phantom Warriors and a few Nagas, wasn't it? Yeah, I didn't really, I don't really want to lose my werewolves there. Let's start casting Lycanthropy again. Start putting a bit more into, put some more into casting skill. Yeah, just leave it like that. Alchemize some power. So if you've got the alchemy skill, um, you can actually, you'll notice that for every two gold pieces, look, I'm getting, I'm actually getting six power points, but with the alchemy, you, you do, you get a one for one trade and you can switch it either way as well. You can actually transmute power back into gold. So depending on which it is that you're short on, you can, you can kind of just chop and change as you need. And it's a super powerful ability. I've, I've watched kind of, uh, pro, you know, <laughs> pro players use that a lot. Use the, um, use the alchemist retort because it allows them a lot of flexibility. Particularly towards the end of the game, you often have a lot of money um, saved and it's magic power that you really need. So you can often transmute your money into magic power. Okay, Orc Bowman, uh, I'm gonna send these guys down this direction and we're gonna start building a force somewhere around here. Uh, I'm just gonna, I'll just patrol them these here, I think for the time being. Okay, these are also a decent unit, these, these wolf riders. They've got magic attacks as well because we've uh, we've actually got we've got the alchemist guild here. The alchemist guild gives us magic um, uh, gi gives us magic weapons. So yeah, let's start getting some of these wolf riders out because these are these are actually a good unit. Jackal riders are even better. They're the high they're the highest tier. Oh, I should have moved across to the land there. You see how the f they see how far they can move. They are they are a really really good unit. Um. Maybe before going for these, um, it might be wise for me to try and take out some of Tauron's, Tauron's cities. Um, we are still at war with him, I believe. Yeah, um, we are still at war. He's maniacal. He's going to be a he's going to be a problem to deal with unless we deal with him quickly. So I think that it might be wise to try to, maybe even before I go for the for these nodes. Oh, where was that? There it is. There, look, a bunch of hellhounds. So he's using he's still using hellhounds, which are. You know, they're, they're a decent early game unit, but actually I don't think that they're going to be much use against me. Um, now, we should be able to build a port here, I'm sure. No, we can't. Buy that granary quickly. Well, we've got plenty of money. Um, I can't build one here either. I think I already looked, didn't I? Yes. Not the best placed uh, cities. So... Let's quickly, uh, we'll just build, we'll get a few more uh, protecting units for this, for this here, and then we're going to start building, we're going to start building a shipyard. This should also be able to build, 
Oh, maybe uh, I can't remember if Knolls can have them or not. Oh yeah, there we go. Look, we've got galley and triremes, so we could actually start building some. We could actually start building some galleys here, and that that might be useful because um, if we if we go straight up here with a decent sized army and just make sure we've got a little bit of protection for our ships, we could probably we could probably take over these these um, small these small towns here. And he's clackons, which means we do we just want to wipe them out. We just, we're, I'm just going to raise those cities and we'll follow them up with a settler. So I think that's that's what I'm going to do there. But next turn, I'm going to build a settler there, I think. These guys are going to come north. There we go. So let me think about this. Perhaps if we get the galley up this direction or somewhere around here, perhaps we can get everyone to meet. Yeah, I might go that way. Bring them back up here. I might actually rally here, and then we can use this as a staging area to get over to into Tauron's, to Tauron's lands. Yeah, I'm, I'm itching for a decent war. Now, that's where his... Oh no, that's not his main city. So where is his, Tauron's main city? It must be around here somewhere, I expect. Yeah, and what, I, what I'm going to do is I'll, I'll basically... I'm just going to raise everything, and then I'll send settlers over, because Clacons are no good for us. Um, you'll, you'll see that if you right-click here, this will tell you um, what kind of racial unrest you get, right? So th this is with Orcs. Uh, we get plus three with Dark Elves, and we get plus one with uh, DR. I forget which one that is. Dragon... Uh, is that the Dracons? Um, DW... Uh, I forget which one this is as well. These might be the Underworld ones. Um, dwarves, there we go. Uh, high Elves plus four. So this is basically telling us the things that it doesn't like. Um, the Orcs don't like. Now, actually, Clacon's only plus one. That's interesting. Um, I'm pretty sure the Clacons are quite high, though, on the racial unrest. Yeah, right, the Clacons don't really like anything. So all of this plus two. So Orcs will be plus two. So but essentially what this means is if we are, if our home, if our starting race is, say, Clacons, and we take over a Beastman, like BE here, then we're going to get plus three unrest, which means it's just, Clacons just do not get on with any other races. You can see they're very, very high. The only ones, the only ones they do get on with is the Clacons. So you just got to be a bit careful um, when you're planning your game. Like Knolls, one of the reasons why Knolls are quite good um, early game starters is because they have quite low... Um, unrest with look orcs plus one um have a look at this high elves is plus two which is quite high high men is plus four so no uh, aren't very good at, with assimilating high men unfortunately but we could take we could take something like let's say that if we were the gnolls we could go for orcs no problem and there'd only be a little bit of unrest so they are quite good at kind of fast expansion because you use Nolls are actually quite strong, and you'll notice that they're... If we just have a look at these halberdiers, they've got a base strength of 8. In fact, let's have a look at these spearmen. These are the base spearmen. Now, spearmen normally only have a a, a strength of 3, or is it even 2? Uh, I forget which, but Nolls are basically stronger. So they're really good for early, early game expansion. And then the idea is you go and find some other races to take over, preferably something like Orcs that have got a decent endgame unit, you know, they've got some decent endgame units. Anyway, I'm I'm kind of digressing, but let's get on with the game. Just make sure that we are uh, feeding our people. Yeah, I don't want to build any more of these now. Let's get... What we go for? Mechanician's Guild's always worth it. I might just go for Stables. Okay, there's our stables. So that gives us a that gives us the ability to create cavalry. Cavalry are actually quite useful. You could, um, you know, they 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 move a long way. They've got a high movement speed, so they they can shoot across the battlefield. They've also got this first strike ability, allows the unit to deal up to twenty four of its damage before hand to hand combat, but after breath, thrown, and gaze attacks. So basically, you get you, um, if you're attacked, you actually get to attack first. Um, so they, they so cavalry are actually worth having. I think in this case, though, I'm going to take some Shaman to start building an army. Um, what do we want here? 
I'll do the same here. The stables, if you remember, also enables us to build some cheap. Uh, sorry, it also gives you some extra production. Okay. Get some more werewolves. Do that one again. Can alchemize some of this. Oh, we don't have much money or power. Oh, we got loads of money. What's the problem? Trying to be power to gold. Ah, it's the other way around. So there we go. That's nice. At least it remembers the setting from the previous turn. So. Bowman. Decent swordsman. Those skeletons just were not good enough. Uh, not that swordsmen are much better, to be honest, but. Actually, I might send some of these guys down. So let's move move these guys up this direction. Same with the werewolves. And we'll get ready for some galleys. I'll wait for the galley, I won't rush that. Go. I'm just swapping these around a little bit. Tauron might attack that ghost now. Here we go. There, there is his, the city of Lyrae or Lyrae. Got a wizard's guild, Tauron's fortress, which is his home place. Bearing in mind that that attacks with lightning. Sage's guild, sawmill fighters guild. Okay, and an alchemist guild too. But he hasn't got a very strong. Mind you, he's got a bunch of heroes. Uh, yeah, he's just sort of got all his heroes sat in his garrison. Okay. Oran's not that strong, I don't think. We just go to the historian. Uh, mind you, he's second. I'm way ahead, which is good news. But um, I, I do think we need to start pruning his empire down just to make sure that he doesn't get any chance of taking us over. I might swap these. I might just spend a turn getting some shaman. Oh, I can get catapults here now as well. We've also got the Parthenon in the cathedral. This might be worth it for the power. Sage's Guild adds 12 research points, so that might be even better. And that's just three turns, right? That's definitely worth getting. Okay, let's just flee here. Okay, we lost the magic spirit. That's not a problem. He was only a scout, so... Yeah, let's just leave. I'll just patrol those there. Now... I'll take that hero up. I, I might put this guy back into our home tower. He will contribute one sixth of his spell power to ours. It's not a huge amount. Um, in Caster of Magic, uh, they they drop the amount that they drop the amount of power that you can that you can use from your heroes into uh, in your adding to your magic power total here. Because I think basically the the AI was always doing this. You know, I saw there was just a, a bunch of heroes all sat back in the in the uh, home tower and it encouraged the player basically just to keep all their heroes at home which isn't really in the spirit of what you're supposed to be doing with them i do like that change i think that's that encourages the player just to be a bit just to use the characters more okay let's get this road on the go We won't bother with, with that. I might just go for a shrine here. Wow, six turns. Um, Forester's Guild might be better. That's plus 10 production and three harvest. Yeah, Sage's... Uh, this is like 60. The problem is it's two maintenance. So whether two, whether two gold pieces a turn, is it worth it for just two production? I'm not really sure. Um, it might just be better to go for the Forester's Guild there. And we've and actually that would actually make this um, iron ore more effective as well if we went for the miners guild. So that's also something we could go for. Now that costs more money, but this increases our food harvest. So let's go for that one first. 
Okay. Let's patrol all of these. Ah. So, taron has got a, a little village here as well on this. I'm assuming this is another, another little continent. Uh, we built the stable, so... Um... Okay, so Death March has still got a decent amount of money. Ah, that's why. We're getting half of the tile from this gold. Interesting. Okay, so let's go for the Builder's Hall because we can get a bank in there as well and make the most of that. Let's just convert that, that bowman. How many of those Lycanthropes have we got now? One, two, three, four, five. Um... These bowmen are no good, actually. So I might just I might just cast the spell again. Get rid, uh, and I'll turn that bowman. Um, the sage is useful. Skeleton is not useful particularly. Get the skeleton back in there. Change this shaman, I think. Uh, Farmers market is probably worthwhile. Always worthwhile. It's probably a better thing to say there. Okay. I might get this down. Oops. Leave those there. And I'll patrol him there for the time being. Okay. Magician is making his way down into this place here okay now we've actually got our first galley here we want another one too so i might actually take no i'll leave i'll leave everything there so let's just move this galley up this direction and then we'll we'll embark an army and then we'll we'll land an army basically and we'll go and start chipping away at tauron's empire and we'll see what it is that he's got we probably do want to send some scouts um, because if he hits, if he rocks up with a really large stack that I can't deal with, I might not be able to get away in time. Um, I'm just going to change this. I might actually build some halberdiers first, just to protect this um, town a little bit more. Okay. Ah, he's got a floating island, which he can use this to put uh, troops on. So this is basically like, you know, it's kind of like a boat. Now we have to be careful. That must mean he's got sorcery. Well, I think we knew that anyway, didn't we? Yeah, he's got one sorcery book and he's got one death book too, but the rest is in. Didn't take any retorts, interestingly enough. Um, yeah, the rest is in, in chaos magic, so. Okay, so we just. Oh, it seems to get away. Interesting. What have we got this time? Let's see. Enchant item. Okay. Uh, I'm going to go for... Mm, Heroic Heart's actually a decent spell. Hail Mighty Battle Mode. I, be, I bear greetings and words of wisdom. This war has been a tremendous strain on us both. Sign a peace treaty so we can end this senseless destruction. No, I don't want to go to peace with you. Um, so we've got the Sages Guild here. That's going to drastically increase our research look. So we've now got 25, 7, 27. Um, Sister Death March has created the Builder's Hall. And it was the bank I wanted to go for that, wasn't it? I might just buy that really quickly. Let's see what's in that tower. Oh, it's the Colossus. Okay. Skeleton can just stay there. He can patrol too. I'm going to be building housing here, so let's switch that to maybe Cathedral might be worth it. 
That's six power. Expensive though. Um, also, we've got four power. Four power and one unrest. Oracle reduces unrest by three, which is pretty heavy. Each farmer's harvest by one. That's expensive though. Maybe just go for the... Uh, I might just go for the Fighter's Guild here. So this, this enables us to build better units. I should have bought this earlier really, but... I'm not really going to be relying too much on the, the uh, units that we can produce in our cities, I don't think. But they, they will be useful for a bit. Go for a university, maybe. Maybe a magic guild. Uh, let's go for the miners guild, because that will increase the output from this gold here. Okay. I'm going to send this sage down this... Uh, sorry, this healing character down this way. Giant spiders. Okay, let's change this now to... I'll take another galley. Galleys are significantly stronger than the triremes, and you'll notice they've got a range attack as well. Um, now, I don't know if we can build warships as orcs. I forget now. I think you probably can. Let's go back to our main town and just let this back a minute. The halberdiers are actually quite a strong unit uh, for this point of the game. Clack on engineers. 26 gold. Yeah, all right. Why not? Okay, so we've got the farmer's market here now, which should, should have increased our food output. And I think. Forester's Guild might be worthwhile. We do have plenty of forests. Yeah, let's go for that. And these engineers can continue moving down this direction and working with Move this guy out of the way. There, that's that coal that appeared. I'd forgotten about that. Okay, right, so we've now got a galley ready to take a, an army over. Now, um, I think we'd be relatively safe taking it over to this one. So let's get... Seven. Okay, so that's a full, we've got a full stack um, with, the, with the ship. So we'll wait until next turn, then we should be able to move these guys over. And I'm going to start with the hamlet of uh, Kairu. And we'll take that down. And maybe we'll, we might be able to see what's in these ruins as well while we're at it. Okay, guys, I'm going to end the episode there. Thanks for watching, and let me know what you think about the series in the comments below. And if you've not subscribed to Explorminate, please subscribe. We're about to hit 5,000 subscribers, and it's quite the milestone for us. So um, if we hit that, I think that uh, Rob's talking about maybe some kind of giveaway going on over our Discord. So um, yeah, come and join us on our Discord channel. And we've got a Steam presence as well. So yeah, Explorminate, Explorminate, Explorminate all the way. <laughs> Take it easy, guys. See you later.